Rise and Grind. going on YouTube, it's your boy Nico. Today we're doing a fresh cut. It's gonna be a fade with the braided man bun. And uh, we got a special guest in the building. It's been years since y'all seen him. Big Nate darling grew up. <laughs> he done grew up like Rugrats over here. Rugrats growing up. <laughs> Big Nate dog already graduated high school. His hair got hella long. But yeah, we're gonna do the, the fresh skin fade with the braided top knot. I'm gonna get them right, I'm gonna get fresh. All right, these are tools I'm gonna be using for the cut. So we got the CP trimmer, CP clipper, CP shaver. You already know the cream of the mist on deck. Coming up in a couple months, these are gonna be available, so stay tuned. So before you pick up them clippers, you wanna go ahead and just analyze your client's hair, and it's a good time to comb it out, you know, brush the hair out, and see what you got to work with. So I'm using my number two guard with the clipper closed. And I'm gonna start shaping out the hair, getting rid of all that bulk. And I'm taking this to the highest point of the fade. So this is pretty much where I want the fade to stop. And anytime you're cleaning out your canvas, you always wanna go against the grain. As you can see, I got my clipper tilted sideways and I'm going against the grain. guard and clipper closed I'm going to start the guideline and a lot of people they use trimmers to start the guideline but me and my preference I always use a clipper especially like on fades because you know it leaves a harsh line when you use a trimmer you know it takes more time to remove it and all that so especially if you're just starting out I recommend just using your clipper my CP trimmer, I'm going to go ahead and clean underneath the initial guideline. Got my clipper slightly open and I'm gonna go up one fourth of an inch into the fade. And I'm gonna slightly open the clipper again and go up another one fourth of an inch. Touching up what I just did, I'm gonna go and flake out. You know, you wanna touch up spots, make sure you kind of use a flake out motion. So I'm gonna fully open my clipper and go up another one fourth of an inch. on the half guard I'm gonna close the clipper I'm going up one fourth of an inch into the fade so I got my clipper open halfway now and I'm gonna go up another one fourth of an inch clipper fully open you want to go in and go up one fourth of an inch and it's always important to use that corner of the blade and you want to make it easier when you throw in the number one guard in the next step to blend flawlessly so as you go higher into the fade you want to go in and use that corner and flake outwards
number one guard and the clipper closed, I'm gonna start working upwards. You wanna keep the blade flat and just go up about one fourth of an inch. Opening my clipper halfway and going up one fourth of an inch. And as you're fading, it's always good to keep the blade flat and level to the client's head. So with the clipper fully open, I'm going to go up one fourth of an inch. But what I'm doing now, because this is pretty much the last step using the number one guard, I'm going to start prepping for the one and a half guard. So make sure you use that corner of the blade and kind of flake out. So using the number one and a half guard, I got the clipper closed. And what I'm doing now is removing that little weight right there. That's pretty much where I left off using the number one guard. Slightly open my clipper and just keep working my way up. And you want to keep working your way up into the number two. And the higher I'm going, I'm just going to keep opening my clipper up. So now I got it fully open, and this is where I clean up the whole blend, and it should blend perfectly into the number two. Brother, he has a tapered hairline, so what I'm doing is kind of cleaning that area up a little bit before we do the lineup. And another thing I like to do too before the lineup is I like to spray the area with rubbing alcohol. It's gonna help remove all the oil residue. So you want to have a clean, dry surface anytime before you do a lineup. So we got the right side done, jumping to the other side. You know, we're just gonna follow the same exact steps and just combine the two together. or edge up I like the skin to be super dry I just feel like it comes out so much more crispier than if I was to use like any kind of like shaving gel or anything like that you know if your client has you know sensitive skin and you're working on the face or anything like that it's good to use probably like shaving gel but but as far as you know uh, doing an edge up or sometimes the beer lineups I feel like the dry razor shades just come out so much more crispy so I'm pretty much done with the fade but what I'm doing now is just using a CP shaver you want to go ahead and ball out the bottom it's gonna help give you that clean, fresh look. Anytime you do a skin fade, you gotta use the shaver. Hey, yo, I'm gonna need some glasses, man. I can't see the fade. That thing looking too blurry right now. Sheesh.
days later. All right, so it's been about two days and I finally had time to set up my brother to get his hair braided. So before the braids, I like to prep the hair. So I'm gonna go and spray the hair using the CP mist. You wanna make sure you spray it everywhere. You wanna spray it you know, on the ends, on the side, on the top. And I'm gonna put the CP cream to lock in that moisture. So we're gonna use the CP cream, I'll say about one or two scoops is good. And you wanna go and spread it all throughout the hair evenly as well. So now I'm just using a brush, you know, I wanna make sure that product is uh, distributed evenly throughout the hair. So just make sure you brush all that product all throughout the hair. And my lady was a little busy, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, give her a helping hand, you know what I mean? I'm gonna start the, the part process. So right now I'm just separating the hair using the end of the comb, and I'm gonna create three different parts. So I got the hair all prepped up. I'm going to hand it over to my lady and she's knocking out the braids. And uh, she's starting off the middle and then she's going to work to the other side and knock out the other two. So it's going to be three braids total. Uh, simple, but you know, it's going to look clean, man. It's, it's a dope look. You guys see this is the before boy my brother was looking rough right here man but we got him right we got him right and here's the after man that thing looking clean boy you got the sick braids you got the clean fade man the crispy lineup you can't tell nothing nothing man you over here stunning on them <laughs> but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed that video make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and uh plenty more in the way so stay tuned stay blessed